How's it going, guys? Happy Monday. Uh, sorry I did not upload yesterday for the Phoenix race. I was going to. I just I, I didn't have the time to be able to watch as much as I wanted to. I was a little bit busy with the dog and doing some other stuff. So I only was able to watch around half of the race. So I wasn't able to get a full kind of like detailed view of, of what happened and, and everything I wanted to know. Um, and so I just decided not to talk about that race. But hopefully I can talk about next week's race, which will be what? Atlanta, hope, hope I'll be able to watch that a little bit more. Sometimes on Sundays, guys, I just can't watch the race as much as I'd like to. I was trying to watch it, but I had other things to do. So if I don't watch a certain uh, like amount or enough of the race, then I'm just not going to talk about it because I, I don't know a lot of the things or the full storylines of things that happened. Um, I heard like Kyle Larson had like two speeding penalties or something. So did Kyle Busch. He had issues as well. So I heard speeding was a little bit of a problem. But um, no big surprise on what happened yesterday. It was kind of like, you know, Penske, Ka Penske car is good. Truex came in at the end there and Truex won. So good for him. Now on to NASCAR inside line. Uh, we have a chance to clinch the championship. We, we have a chance to clinch the championship three races early. We're, we're, at, we're going to Texas, then we have Phoenix and Homestead. But here's the situation. We have 98 uh, or 98 point gap on Tony Stewart. Now, to clinch the championship, uh, I think we need... We have to be over 100 points, I'm pretty sure. Um, that way, if we finish last and they lead every lap and win the race... I think, we, yeah, we, we could maybe even have maybe 95-ish points. Like, if we, if we stay at this current position, I think we clinch. But just to be safe, 100 points, I think that will be the clincher if, if we get that. Um, so it's just we're looking at Tony Stewart and we're looking at Kyle Busch. Uh, Greg Biffle's kind of falling down there. We'll see what those two do. Um, and we're going to Texas. Now, do I know what this race is going to be like? No, not really. Um, we had a weak car when we came around here the first time. So we'll see how we do. Hopefully we do well. And uh, let's see what happens. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Texas Motor Speedway in Dallas-Fort Worth for today's running of the AAA Texas 500. Alongside Hall of Famer Darrell Waltrip, I'm Mike Joy. Mike, the guys like coming here because Eddie Gossage and his folks, they put on such a great show. A lot of festivities, a lot of things that go on around this racetrack, plus an exciting race. Oh, it's pretty spectacular here. You got that right, and the Roush cars seem to have this place figured out. They're the favorites for me. They say everything's bigger in Texas. How big would a win be to your hopes in the championship chase today? All right, here we go. Start, finish, line, boom. Let's see what we do. I was not very confident. I ran like a few practice laps, and I wasn't really happy with how the car was handling. So I don't think we're going to have the best pace, but let's see. I don't know also. I don't remember the checkup situations here. Let's just be a little bit careful. Okay, I'm not going four wide. That's not happening. All right, nice and easy. And everything looks kind of calm here. There might be a checkup in the tri-oval. So let's just be careful right here. There's some sort of debris flying in the middle of the air and just, well, I think, slammed on Robbie Gordon's hood or something. I don't know. That was weird. All right, checkup into one. Checkup, checkup, checkup. Big checkup. Okay, not terrible, though. Not terrible. We're going to have to try to get around these guys. I, I am a little bit worried. I don't, I don't think we have the speed to be able to... Oh, God. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is definitely really sketchy at the moment. A lot of checking up, a lot of tight, close-quarter racing. Might be another massive checkup here. No. I think the biggest checkup is in, in, isn't going in a one right here. Okay, there we go. we got to stay on the bottom, though. The middle lane's not a viable option. Middle to the top, it's not viable. So we have to stay down here. we got to save the tires a little bit. Don't burn the right rear off. It's very important at some of these mile-and-a-half tracks. Let's hopefully get this done. Come on. That was a bad decision to do. I thought I could maybe get underneath Danica. How long can I slide that? My goodness. What a save, but also my, re my rear tires are literally dead now. Okay. That was, I, I thought Danica was going to check up more. I, I thought I was going to be able to just sneak underneath her, but nope. She did not check up more, unfortunately. As soon as I realized where I was underneath her, I was like, uh-oh, this is a problem. And uh, that was that. I mean, there's, there's nothing you could do. Even if you try backing out of it, there just isn't much you can do. You just start making contact and you lose the car. So that's my fault. And that pretty much negates the rest of this run because of how long we just slid the rear tires for. I mean, there's not much I'm going to be able to do here. Um, yeah, the tires are already shot. I'm already loose. Yeah. And that's that. Well, once, once you go for a slide like that, it's over. That's why I stress so much about trying to save the rear tires. Massive, massive mistake. We're going to have to just sit around and wait for a caution now. Oh, got a caution. That's nice. 
Oh, there's a big wreck in the middle of three and four. Uh, Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson, Mark Martin, Jimmy slides. Does not save it. Back up onto the track. And Ryan Newman goes head on into the wall. Good lord. Okay. We got lucky there. That was that literally came, what, a lap after I said we need a caution? Maybe we were on the same lap, so... We'll come down pit road, take four tires, fuel, and try again. Um, maybe I should try the middle lane? I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to work, but I'll try. Alright. I was going to say 41st, but look at the outside line. Look at what the game just did to us. The outside line got a massive boost. Oh, and now they come backwards. Okay, never mind. Thank you, game. Alright. Uh, where? Wait, gotta be careful of the checkups. Looks like bottom lane is still rolling. And now we gotta go through what? Okay. Alright, this is where we just gotta be careful. So right here, Robbie Gordon, that's not gonna be a good time to go through wide. So now we just check up and wait. There's Tony Stewart. He's not having a good race, and that's this guy that's second in the point standings. So we have a chance to clinch. Hopefully we can get it done. We got Kyle Bush and Greg Biffle, the other two that we're looking around. Greg, is that Greg Biffle? That's Greg Biffle right in front of Tony Stewart. So now we just have Kyle Bush, wherever he is. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, there we go. We're good? All right, let's keep going. Uh, should I go down low? I'm going to try it. There we go. I only did that because there was no one above Logano, so I felt like he would give me the space. All right, now we just got to keep running it on the bottom of the track. Hopefully there's a check up here. Now Denny Hamlin, is he going to check up enough for us to get underneath him? No, that's not enough. So, yeah, we... Oh, 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 we got Ambrose going a little bit sideways. No, nope, we're fine. Okay. Everything's good. Whew. Up to 25th. Trying the middle lane here. Got a nice little run. Hopefully don't hit the wall. There we go. Cut down. Underneath Gordon. There we go. Now underneath Newman and break. There we go. Up to 20th. Alright, we're doing exactly what we gotta do. Now I could kind of take it a little bit easy here. We're in a perfect spot. I know 20th is <laughs> a little interesting, but we have Tony Stewart and Greg Biffle behind us that are in trouble, Newman's going to side draft us, go to the inside. We can't really go anywhere, so we got to go middle lane. Kozlowski's going to check up there. We're going to go middle lane again. Now we're top three wide. Got to be careful of the wall. Coming out of four. Oh, boy. I got in the wall not because I was tight, but because I was hoping Kozlowski wouldn't hit me. you got to remember, if, if Kozlowski hits me, it's just going to send my car even further up the track. So you got to give him room, even if he is sliding up. That was a little bit tough, tough situation there. That's why I don't like running the top of this track. It is... Uh, very risky when it comes to racing side by side. Underneath Michael McDowell. Kane goes somewhere. I don't know where he's going. Looks like he went to the middle lane. We're starting to slide the right rear a little bit, lose grip. Oop. There we go. Kane smacks the wall or gives a little love tap. Underneath Casey Kane. Dave Blaney's having a good run. We're going to get underneath him. All right, up to the top 15. Beautiful. I'm really starting to slide the right rear tire now. Up to 13th, though. Doing really, really well. I don't know where Kyle Busch is. I haven't seen him, so he's somewhere up there. But uh, right now we're doing super, super well. Again, I'm going to slide the right rear tire off the corner. And it's definitely overheating now. This is just something we got to deal with. There is no saving it now, so I'm just trying to be a wheel man and, and drive the wheel off the thing, or drive the, the tires literally off the car. Look at that slide. Oh, boy. I had to slide my way to block uh, Regan Smith there. But I think running top 15 for now is fine. We just need the track position and then wait for another round of uh, pit stops or a caution or something like that because we're not good on the long run. We only got, I think, pretty good short run speed. I haven't really abused the tires a lot this run. It just started sliding naturally. It's not because of something that I did in terms of, you know, sliding right your tire. So it's just uh, the way the car is set up, I guess. And I'm really losing grip in three and four. I can't even touch the bottom of the track at the moment. And then it's just going to slide coming off the corner. Uh, be careful. A little bit of contact there, Regan Smith. That's what I mean. I try to get as close to the wall as possible to avoid the contact. And, you know, they still kind of race you really aggressively coming off the corner if they get underneath you. So I'll be really careful with that. Again, through one and two. Just failing throttle. And that's a good corner there. Should give us some breathing room. Hopefully I can hit the bottom of three and four this time without sliding up. And still, no. I mean, it, it is, it's really tough to really get to, to the white line car just not does not want to turn into the center of the corner but we're doing well carl edwards is leading lap 19 13th place got our two uh, championship rivals behind us let's keep going oh people are pitting people are pitting they're pitting they're pitting they're pitting oh that's the majority of the field okay Whoa. around the outside this is going to help us gain some spots see you later guys all right beautiful all right that's free positions right there caution's out Okay, well now maybe they're not beautiful, because I think all those guys that came down pit road are going to be able to get in front of us. Caution is due to that. Ah, uh, man. Well, 
We should still be fine. Let's come down pit, pit road. Four tires fuel. Should be okay. Is Kyle Busch in front of us? I can't, still can't see. Yep, there he is. He was running second that whole run, so makes sense. He's quick. All right, P4. Let's see if we can get this done. And by done, I mean just staying here. That's all we need to do. We just need to stay in the top 10 positions, and I think we will clinch the championship. So hopefully that's what we can do. I'm going to be really careful this restart. We're around the middle lane. I don't think there's going to be really any checkup issues around here. So we're on the middle, and then even run the middle in three and four. So here we come through three and four. We'll stay up here. Kyle, just don't check up. Yeah, he could go to the bottom now. Kyle, go to the bottom if you want. There you go. All right, beautiful run coming out of four. Now we could dive underneath Kyle Busch, hopefully get into the top three. And this is where I'm gonna go in entire conservation mode now. So I'm actually gonna try to, no, oh, don't do that. See, that's not what I wanna do. I wanna slide the right rear tire. I'm going to try to keep the right retire on the car so that way we don't suffer in the long run. So we're probably going to let those two drive away. I don't even think I have speed to be able to keep up with them, to be honest. But we'll try to keep Kyle Busch behind us. All right, tire conservation mode. Let's go. Oh, God. Kyle Busch just said, no way. Are you saving tires? I'm going to dive, dive it in right underneath you. And he's able to complete the pass. We'll go side by side again. I'm able to pull the crossover. There we go. Back in front of him. All right. Okay, so if he's able to get underneath me in three and four like that again, there's not really much I can do. Okay, I think I could defend him in one and two, but three and four is going to be tough. We'll see what he does. Yeah, I cannot get to the bottom of three and four. I just can't do it. I've been trying everything. I cannot do it. I'm, you know, I'm trying to lower the brake bias a little bit. Maybe that'll help me get it. I just can't enter the bottom, get to the bottom of three and four. I just can't do it. One and two is fine. One and two, I can just kind of glide it down there. And we're good. Oh my goodness, three and four. Very, very bad. This has not been an easy run whatsoever. Three and four is, is a nightmare every single time. Now we got Jeff Burton and Kyle Busch side by side. I'm going to have to slide up. Caution is out. I will take it. And it's for Dave Blaney literally driving off pit road into the grass and spinning out at the exit of pit road. Okay, that's, yep. I don't know how that happens, but good job. Good job, Dave. Proud of you. Edwards is staying out. Kyle Busch is staying out. Oh, hello. Okay. I don't agree with that decision, but you guys do you. I'm going to take my four tires and fuel. All right, we're about halfway through this race now. It's been a long race. My goodness. Uh, we made one major mistake at the beginning. The rest of the race has been pretty decent. We're on the bottom lane. Going to get a nice restart here, so that's nice. I'm not trying to win. That's the thing, though. We, I think it, it's very clear we don't have the speed to be able to win the race, but we do have the speed to finish top five. We, we, we can do that. So, it really, from this point on, it's just about keeping the track position. And this might help, because we're going to have, what, Keselowski, Kyle Busch, and Carl Edwards on older tires. I wonder how they're going to be driving, but maybe we could get in clean air. Maybe I should try to push it here a little bit, because clean air always helps. And, oh, hello. Yep, I'm going to get clean air right here. Thank you, Carl Edwards. Four fresh tires in the lead. All right. Clean air. Now let's see how we do. Oh, no. Oh, Tony Stewart. Never mind. Oh, yes. Tony Stewart, second in the championship, just reversing around the track backwards in circles. What a weird race this has been. Okay. Um, ooh, eh, uh, eh, nope, staying up. I want my track position. Uh, inside, I just don't want to get put back. Yeah, we would have been, what, 24th? Yeah, no. I'm not, I'm not going back there again. Only bad things can happen. That was about, what, three laps that we ran, I think? Yeah. They were, keep the track position. We'll be okay. Kevin Harvick, is there any championship rivals around us? Uh... I don't see anyone. Don't. Yeah, I don't see anyone. Uh, nope. All right. Let's just keep going. Got clean. Got we got the clean air now. That's that is massively important is to get the clean air, so we can kind of just relax here. So, got what? 27, 28 laps to go. Oh, are we sliding the right rear tire a little bit? Let's not do that. And we're gonna lose the clean air. Kevin Harvick takes the lead. I should be able to get it back. Here we come. Just got to get a nice run coming out of four. We got the run underneath Harvick. Boom, clear. Okay, there we go. Keep going. This is becoming a recurring theme. I'm losing the lead in three and four. I'm getting it back in one and two. I don't mind really doing that. I'm actually okay with it, but we're back in the lead. I just, I've, I've tried everything in the last 40 laps to figure out three and four. And sometimes if the car ain't set up right. You just ain't going to make it through that corner. And I, I've, I've tried every tactic in the world to, to go quicker in the in three and four and it just it just isn't working so i mean i could hook the bottom i have to slow my car down a ridiculous amount and then get passed on the outside 
And that's never good. I'd rather actually get past on the inside so I could carry the momentum on the outside and get him back in one and two. So it's just a sacrifice that we're going to keep having to do throughout this entire race. Got another 25 laps to go or so. We're not pulling away from the field at all. We definitely don't have the fastest car. I know that for a fact. So here he comes, Kurt Busch. And again, we're going to just let him go. I just kind of mind my own business, sliding off the corner a little bit. But I'm able to get him back. So if, I, if he passed me on the top, for example, there's no way I'd be able to get that run uh, that we just did. So that's why I'm letting it happen sometimes. Uh, I don't want to let that happen, though, in one and two. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, see, this is a problem. I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back from this. We're going to have to try our best. Uh, yeah, no. There's no there's no comeback from that. All right, yeah, we lost the lead. That, that one's done. Okay. Uh, just don't get put on the wall here. There we go. We'll get back to second. I don't think we're going to be able to get back to first. Oh, boy. Oh, that was a risk I should not have taken. But we got the lead. Oh, God. Sliding up the track. We're fine. Here comes Harvick. Okay, might want to... I'm going to have to calm down here. I'm just going to give it the lead. I'm going to have to give it up. All right. Harvick's going to go ahead. We're going to give up the lead. There's no reason to force a wreck. That dirty air is the worst thing alive. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I was prepared for it. Still slid up the track. All right. We'll fall into third. Let's see if we can maybe get back to second. Uh, we should be able to here. There we go. All right. Now we're just chilling second. Dirty air again. Oh, here comes Jeff Burr on the outside. Nope. Oh, Lord. Eh. Struggling. Big time struggling. Man, it's like this Texas track is actually a lot of fun. Oh, God. Uh, I wonder who would ever change the layout of the track. I mean, who would do that? All right. Let's keep going. Back around Kurt Busch. But I am mightily struggling now. That we are in deep, deep trouble. I'm sideways, help me. Oh my god. Thank you, Kurt, for actually straightening me out. I appreciate that. Okay, uh, we just need to get this to the pit stops or wait for a caution or something. I mean, this is, uh, oh god. Back to the outside for Hamlin. I'm going to have to be careful. I'm just going to back off there. All right. Whew. Can't lose too many spots here. I have completely lost the right retire, guys. I am sliding all over the place. Pit stops are going on. I don't know who's pitting, though. There's some guy. None of the front guys have pitted yet. I'm just holding on for dear life and praying for a caution to come out. I mean, I am so sideways. This is honestly ridiculous. I don't know how much longer we have to go in terms of fuel. I don't. When did we start this run? I don't exactly remember. I'm too focused on not trying not to wreck the car at the moment. But the right retired doesn't have a lot of life left in it. It says we have 12 laps of fuel left. We're not making it 12 laps on the tires. I know that for a fact. We go more guys coming down pit road. I don't want to pit until I have to because of the caution situation that might come up. I want to close the championship. So we have to just stay out as long as we possibly can on this on this horrible, horrible set of tires. Oh, have mercy on my soul. I'm trying everything I can. I somehow still don't have damage on the right front suspension because when I hit the wall, I'm hitting it square. I'm not hitting it like with the right front fender. Uh, have mercy on my soul. I can't do this much longer. I think guys are p Yeah, the front guys are now pitting. Okay. Oh my god, I'm sideways. Harvick is pitting right now. That's good news for us. We'll keep going a little bit longer. The goal is not to win the race. The goal is just to stay in a decent position. And staying out right now is going to help with that. Also, if caution does come out, we'll have the freshest tires, even if we do pit right now. So the longer we go, I'm not expecting this thing to go green all the way to the end. So... Trying to put ourselves in a good position here. The right retire has about two to three more laps in it, so we won't be able to go much longer, but I'm going to go around one more time probably and then probably pit next time by. Probably. Not entirely sure. Just going to keep going. Oh, God. Oh, how did I save that? Oh, Lord. All right, it's time to pit. It's time to pit before I wreck this thing. Books, 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 books. I have no idea how entry of pit road here works. So we're going to be careful, start backing off now, arc it in, 45 miles per hour likely, there we go, and beautiful, okay, oh, oh god, how does I have, okay, how do I not have damage from that run, hit the wall like five times, okay, it says we're P11 at the moment, we're a lap down, that means few guys haven't pitted yet, uh, we're merging with Kurt, Denny, and Jeff, so that's who we were racing before, so we're where we should be. Um, let's just hope the caution does not come out now. We're going to need the leaders to pit. So, we got fresh tires, though. Let's go. Greg Biffle's trying to save his championship hopes. He's 
He's the leader. He's the one that still stays out on track. Hopefully he comes down pit road. I mean, if Caution came out now and he was the leader and trapped me a lap down, I would I would just cry. Oh, there we go. We're going to be in the lead. There's Kevin Harvick. See you later. <laughs> Thank you, Biffle. You just gave us the lead. Oh, man. All right. Now we don't have to save tires. I can push this thing as hard as I want. Try to stay away from Harvick and try to win the race. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be close. Harvick, he, he was two and a half seconds back. Now he's a second and a half back. And he's closing quick. I'm pushing this thing as hard as I can. Four laps to go. Uh, the championship looks good. <laughs> I, th I think we've won the championship. Now I just want to win the race. I know, I'm greedy. All right, leave me alone. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's not a good corner. Uh, wait, Harvick slowed down a little bit. No, no, now he's going back. 1.5, 1.4. He's, he's probably going to get underneath the second through three and four, isn't he? It's at 1.2. I'm going to try my best through three and four. I can't really do much. Oh, uh, God. Yep, it's underneath the second now. He's on his way. Oh, God. Three laps to go. Please, can we just hurry this race up? Oh, that was a good lap on my part. And we still lost three-tenths of a second to Harvick. But we're okay. Two laps to go. As long as he doesn't get to me, I think we're okay. And through one and two, we're able to do a pretty good job. As long as you don't mess up the exit, which we, that was good right there. It's still at one second, around nine-tenths. Now down to eight, but we're still okay. And three and four is just about managing the losses. Just keep it on the bottom. Don't get loose off. Try to carry the momentum. That's the best I can do. It's underneath half a second now, but he's not to us. And he's not going to get to us. White flag lap. As long as we don't make a mistake through one and two, I think we're in the clear. Nice and easy. Don't get loose off. Let it slide up the track. A little bit loose off. A little tap on the wall, but that's fine. We're able to carry the speed. Half a second. Now we just got to keep this thing on the bottom in case he has a miraculous surge. And we're going to win. Championship. Clinched. Race win. Clinched. Job done. Clinched. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. Oh, man. Woo. What a race. That You know, man, it's like, I don't know. It's like this version of Texas is actually decent. Not bad. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, well I don't want to say we, we did clinch the championship, right? I mean, I don't see a way where I can lose the points lead now and in the last two races i think i can't oh yeah it's done it's done 137 point lead this, remember there was a chase the, the points restarted 137 point lead is what we have right now with 16 wins on the season championships done we've won it and for some reason we have a secondary sponsor now that that is interested whatever i do not care uh, so now we can enjoy the last two races. All right, Phoenix and Homestead up next. Championship clinched. Let's go for more wins. I mean, how many... What, what have our recent results been like? You don't want to check. First, 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 32nd. <laughs> We've had six wins in a row in the chase. Oh my lord. That is just crazy. First at Michigan. So, or Chicago. So, seven out of the eight races, we won. Talk about getting hot at the right time. Good lord. Guys, that is it for me. I will see you guys tomorrow. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. And uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. And I will see you guys later. I need some champagne or something. Peace out.